Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a first look of Mini Electric. We have a blue color and the white on the left. Closed bumper, as this is an electric car, only intake on the bottom to cool the batteries. We have the LED fogs like on the facelift Mini. So uh, let's jump inside. And of course someone interrupts us. So let's check the back look. Uh, we have an optional panoramic roof that opens. On the back, of course, electric car, no exhaust. We have the E logo as electric yellow Cooper S. The Union Jack uh, back taillights. Still familiar mini alley wheels. And not to forget the charging port is over here where you would find your usual, uh, you know, petrol or uh, gasoline uh, fuel cap. Uh, have alternate and uh, direct current for uh, fast charging and uh, slow charging. And have the light there. But in this case, they, when you're braking, recuperate the energy and recharge the batteries. So these are 17 inch alloy wheels. Still same protection on the bottom. Now we have a heads up display as an option probably or maybe even a standard. Uh, so the base price is 32,500 euros or 40,500 with the uh, options. So let's see the technical data. And we have a 135 kilowatt battery equivalent to 184 horsepower, 270 newton meters of torque. Electric range from 242 or 270 max. Not much, but this is a city car um, options. And then we have uh, optional equipment over here, a long list, which increases the uh, standard price. Now we're going to get inside as soon as this gentleman leaves. So the gentleman went out finally, and we can see here a standard mini three door coupe uh, interior, uh, Mini Cooper S uh, on the bottom, aluminium doorstep. Uh, these are the same seats you'll find in the Mini. Uh, nice leather, I must say. Beautiful stitching. With Mini yours and in the Union Jack flag perforated uh, headrest. So let's just jump inside and see. Okay, with the key on, we managed to turn on the car and we have the same three-spoke steering wheel. Let's close those doors. And with the uh, pre-standard mini steering wheel, which is really nice, uh, soft leather, hand-stitched, feels good in the hands. And then we have the same infotainment, uh, same controls on the top. So I'm not gonna go into the details of that. Uh, your privacy mirror, uh, you can control the LED lights here uh, when the uh, bonnet is not opened. Um, we're gonna check the bonnet uh, later. Uh, same uh, AC controls, everything is same as on the Mini, but instead of red, we have a uh, yellow uh, start-stop. And on the bottom, we have two USB chargers and a 12 volt, uh, pretty standard uh, over here. No rubber mat on this one. Two cup holders, and then we have um, automatic, um, you know, uh, transmission although this is an electric car, uh, uh, actually. And then we have electronic uh, parking brake with the new infotainment, uh, this new, uh, as you can see here, uh, my mini. So we have navigation, phone calls, radio, media. And let's see about my mini. So this is the electric version, uh, vehicle settings, driver profiles, technology. So this is actually in English, but um, we have here also the flag, which is optional, uh, probably that comes with the ambient light as, as well. But the main change is in this area. Now you do have a heads up display, as you can see here now. 
but you can see the facelift uh, uh, countryman John Cooper's work is gonna be uh, eventually on my channel so check that uh, for more heads up display uh, so over here we have a new screen that really comes with the mini philosophy it's small it looks um, retro in a way now this one's um, not charged the bonnet is open but you can see here your uh, energy and then your uh, power that you're giving to the car and I guess this is the battery status and this is the uh, either you know uh, boost or charge uh, depending and when you're braking of course you're recuperating energy inside as mentioned everything is uh, pretty standard uh, and familiar uh, to those who are fans of the Mini. Um, the glove compartment seems the same, large. So uh, in this one you have optional Harman Kardon speakers, so this is fully loaded car. In top you have a uh, open ceiling uh, glass roof, you have manual shade. Uh, of course you have one on the back as well, and a glass roof, uh, same. So this is the back seat, pretty standard. Um, nice leathers, I just must notice, I love uh, this leather. Uh, let's get on the back and on the front and see the space. It's offered, again, BMW uh, details inside. So let's see that electric motor. So not much to see. Um, there's no front space, um, but this is where the cooling system is, obviously, because it might get hot. You can see the warning on the bottom, but um, for an electric car, I would say not much to see. So let's check the back space and see if there's any compromise. Now, as far as I've heard, there is none. And as you can see, it's pretty much standard uh, uh, Mini Cooper three-door um, booth. So this could be a flat bottom, of course. Now you have here a on the side being W uh, options. So there's extra storage space on the bottom, same as on the regular model <coughs> or the petrol version. Now you can pull this out and then you can even it over here and then you would get a flat bottom. Of course, you can knock down the seats and then you can extend this and then close it like this and then you would have a little bit of extra storage space if you have cargo on the back of course on the bottom we have LED lights and backing camera and I think this uh, finishes uh, the mini uh, I'm going to just walk towards the white version uh, just so you can have a closer look this one has a different uh, alloy wheels that are more closed and then you can see the interior is a little different in this model we have a, a little bit different leather uh, this one doesn't have the optional panoramic roof and this is uh, the front looks um, if you like this video please give it a like subscribe to the channel if you want to and click that bell to get the notifications then because I'm in Frankfurt Auto Show there's a lot of cars I've been filming so if you want to see what's new in the industry uh, you know where to find it um, like leave a comment below what do you think about the new mini I'm gonna see you in the next one stay safe on the road bye